Hi, this is Lucas from Tech Power Math, and today I'm going to be doing a demo of the uh, new TI Innovator, um, which is an accessory that was released uh, by Texas Instruments in uh, late 2016. It interfaces with um, either the TI Inspire CX or the TI84 Plus CE. I'm going to be using it with the TI Inspire CX today. Um, this little demo um, is pretty simple. I'm going to be showing you how it can be used with the um, one of the add-on accessories, um, the, the Ranger accessory. And so basically if you want to do this activity, what you'll need, of course you'll need a, a TI Inspire um, or TI-84 if you want to adapt the code that I've written for this. Um, you'll need to be running a newer version of the operating system. I've got mine running um, version 4.4, but I believe it'll also work with, with 4.3. Um, you'll need a TI Innovator Hub. Um, you'll need a, a, a mini to mini USB that will come with the hub or with your TI Inspire CX if you've still got it. And then you'll need um, the, the Ranger that connects to um, one of the input ports. I've got mine connected to um, port in one here. And you can see that I've used a couple of rubber bands to... Um, hold mine to the front of the TI Innovator so when I'm walking around in it uh, it'll it'll stay connected and I won't have to hold it on there and if you're not familiar with the Ranger technology um, actually TI's had similar versions of this out for quite some time I think all the way back to the TI-83 and what this does is it um, sends out uh, a pulse of sound and um, basically detects how far objects are um, in front of the device and then, and then that can be recorded by the, the, the calculator. Um, what's new here though is that you have a little more control because you can write the programs that decide what to do with that data that's um, being uh, collected by the calculator, in this case through the, through the, the TI Innovator. And so um, typically in the past you had to interface with the programs that, that Texas Instruments had developed for it and you get a nice little plot back, uh, distance versus time graph. Um, here instead what I've done is I've adapted it a bit so that um, I'm using that feedback from the Ranger and um, getting um, creating some some audio feedback so what you're gonna hear is instead of the traditional just sort of click 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 sound that uh, the older TI um, Rangers would have produced um, I've written a simple very simple linear function that would be understandable by like an algebra 1 class and um, the closer that I get as I walk to the wall, um, the higher the pitch the sound will be um, in, in, at every increment. Um, and the further away I get, the, the lower the tone will be. Um, th again, this is a simple kind of activity you could use to introduce coding to um, you know high school class. Um, even very young students, I think, like in Algebra 1 class, um, just 10 lines of code. Um, in, a, in a for loop, I've got it to where it terminates after um, uh, 200 iterations, or you can break it by, by holding the on button down. Um, so I'll be posting um, this code to the, uh, the associated blog post. If you're watching this on YouTube instead of uh, my blog, just follow the link down below and you can see, you can see that code. Thanks for watching as always, and um, I'll start the demo momentarily.